Okay, we're going to talk about the uh, GPS chart basics uh, in this tutorial. And um, this is, uh, again, the 5208. As you can see on the screen here, I have uh, all of my options available to me. By that, I mean I've got charts. Uh, the unit comes as a GPS chart plotter, so it comes as a chart plotter ready to go. But I also have hooked up a sonar box, so I make this unit into a fish finder. I also have hooked up a radar, so I make this unit into a radar. And I've got my weather box hooked up. So if you have all of these accessories hooked up, you'll have boxes for each of these. If you don't have a radar hooked up, then that box will just be missing. So let's go ahead and uh, go into the charts. I'm going to hit my chart option. Now I've got a couple options. First thing I want to do is go into navigational charts. And of course you're going to use this when you're navigating. So here's my GPS page. There's my boat right there in the center. At the bottom, if you can read this down here, it says 12 nautical miles. That's my scale. What that means is that that width, about the width of my thumbnail, is 12 nautical miles. And I'm looking at about, I've got about 10 of those widths along the bottom, so I'm looking at a very, very large area. If I want to zoom in and see more detail, then I'm going to hit the plus button. Plus, plus button is going to zoom down. As I get to about 5 nautical miles, you'll see I start to look like a NOAA chart. I'm just going to keep zooming in and zooming in. You'll see my boat stays right there in the center. As I get down a little bit further, I'm at 3 nautical miles. Now I've got lots and lots and lots of detail on there. So, what does all this detail mean? Well, let's just take a look at it. First of all, the white is showing deeper water. The blue is showing shallower water. In Right here, these are called spot soundings. So this means that's 11 feet of water, 7 feet of water, 3 feet of water. Now that is calculated from the NOAA chart, and that is just mean low or average low water. Not currently what's right there, but that's the average low water that would be at those locations. Okay. Uh, the red and green buoys, of course, are the red and green buoys you're going to see out on the water. So they should be seen in the same position that you would be seeing them out on the water. Also, on those buoys, I'm going to go ahead and move the map. With this touch screen, it's very simple. I'm going to go ahead and just drag my finger. With these buoys, you'll see this, this buoy right here is, is buoy number one. It says FLG, flashing green, 2.5S means it's flashing green every two and a half seconds, and 5M, five meters high, so you can see the type of visibility on that screen. Here's, a, here's another one. Number two, flashing red every four seconds and seven feet. So you can get an idea of the height on those. Right? Here's a great way to see all the different buoys in there and the channels. You can see here the deeper water, the shallow water, and now the channel running into all these marinas. While we're right there at the marinas, let's go ahead and tab over. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. You see all these uh, S's and T's over here. Let me show you what that means. What that means is, now you can see these sailboats. That means that there's a marina right there. I'm going to go ahead and tap, hit that, that marina. You'll see the, the uh, options pop up. That's Dinner Key Marina. I can get some information about them. If you want to get uh, some more information about that marina, what you can do is, see the S button right there. If I tap the S button, it actually gives me tons and tons of detail about that marina. So if I, see, if I want to get information about Grove Key Marina, I tap the S for services, and I tap on the right-hand side, Marine Services. Now this gives me a ton of information about that marina. Phone numbers, what they offer, do they sell beer, do they sell gas, do they offer uh, overnight slips, etc. If I want to navigate to it, I've got my option, I can navigate right to it. I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button. So those marinas, those are built in to the, the machine. You do not have to buy anything else, and those are built right in. Another really nice feature here, if I can zoom in just a little bit, see this T, that is a tide station. This is critical, especially if you're in a boat with a little bit deeper draft. You want to know what the tide is doing right now. If you're in this marina, you want to know what the tide is, just hit the T for tides. And now what I can do is see what the tide is going to be at that spot. I hit the review button, I hit dinner key marina, and here is the tide for that day. Now this corresponds with our current time. 
Um, here's a high tide, a low tide, a second high tide, a low tide. So right now, we're almost at dead low, and the tide will be coming back up. Great, great information, again, if you're navigating uh, unfamiliar waters. If you need to know what the tide's going to be for tomorrow, if you're out fishing, you can just hit the next day, and now it shows me what the tide's going to be tomorrow. If you want to change the date and see what the, the tides are going to be in a week or a month or in a year, just go ahead and hit the change date feature. Really nice.